Hi everyone. There's been a great deal of discussion on what actually constitutes 5G by ourselves and others, but we still come across people who are somewhat unclear about it. Hence here we attempt a very simplified yet high level view of what exactly 5G is. This tweet from Dean Bubbly discusses why all 5G presentations start with, what is 5G anyway? There are some interesting comments with some suggesting this basic 5G slide is needed because 5G means different things to different people and companies. We don't think that's true anymore as 5G has been defined by 3GPP and we should now follow this official definition. Therefore, this video will be an explanation of that definition. If we look at mobile or smartphones in general, they do two broad things. Voice and SMS is one and data is the other. The apps on your devices, as well as browsing the internet, etc., is part of data. The main focus of 2G was voice. SMS came later and data came even later as part of GPRS or 2.5G. 3G's focus was higher speed data and continuation with voice and SMS. 4G's focus was even higher speed data. Interestingly, as 4G was so focused on high speed data, it overlooked voice somewhat. As a result, it had to initially focus on 2G, 3G for voice and later on added Volti. More details on this can be found in our video on 4G voice options. What makes 5G different is that instead of focusing on just the speed aspect of data, it focuses on reducing the latency as well as increasing the connection density. To explain it simply, while 2G, 3G and 4G focused on achieving higher data speeds, 5G focuses on achieving even higher data speeds, but simultaneously reducing latency and improving connection density. To understand latency, check out our video that explains bandwidth, throughput, latency and jitter. To explain density, if we look at the 5G high level requirements and wish list, it is envisaged that there should be 100 times more active users in a 5G cell than in a 4G cell. Here, there is no requirement that this should be done with the same amount of bandwidth, etc. So this point is open for interpretation. So if we compare 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G, you will notice that the speed increases dramatically from 2G, 3G, 4G to 5G. Latency decreases dramatically from 2G to 5G and the connection density increases dramatically from 2G to 5G. Here is a short summary of the different generations of mobile technologies. It is self-explanatory, but it's worth re-emphasizing the points we made earlier. 1G and 2G was focused on voice only. Data was added later to 2G in the form of GPRS or 2.5G. 3G tried to provide the best of both worlds by increasing the data speeds and continuing with the legacy of voice and SMS. 4G focused only on data initially while relying on 2G, 3G for the voice part. The data only voice option was known as Volti was designed and added later. There are still not many networks supporting Volti and even fewer devices that support it. 5G is continuing its focus on data only with the focus being on improving speeds, reducing latency and providing a very high connection density. Just a joke we thought we would include for people who have been following 5G closely. Back in 2015, the impression that 5G Vision provided was that it will fix all of the world's problems. But as we are moving towards practical 5G implementations based on 3GPP releases, we see that 5G is just another G. It will improve with future versions of standards, but that will take some years. We hope you liked this simple explanation of what 5G is. As always, slides are on our SlideShare channel. Feel free to leave any comments, suggestions you may have below. Thank you for your time.